Hi Aries. Thank you for viewing me today, you guys. Welcome in and welcome back. My name is Elena. If you've never viewed me, this is going to be your general reading for the next week to two weeks. Current energies right now. If it sounds like something you are going through, this is your reading. All right, I'm going to begin. This is good for all placements for the beautiful sign of Aries and happy Sunday, you guys. Wishing you all many beautiful blessings. Let's begin. For the sign of Aries, spirit guides, what would you like to show me? One shuffle. I will be looking at your recent past. I always go by how I feel and the cards. What is coming in in the next few weeks and love crossing will be towards the end. For the sign of Aries, what would you like to show me? Strongest energies around the sign of Aries, please. Spirit guides, current energies for Aries. This reading is for, please, thank you. Strongest energies around the sign of Aries. This reading is for, thank you. One card, the drifter popped out in my pre-shuffle. I have spirit of the river, movement towards adventure and choices in their consequences. Wow, it looks like to me like you're leaving a lot of situations in your life that perhaps you've been feeling as if there's been a crossroads. I feel that you're leaving anything that's left you at a place of a fork in the road. Right now, spirit guides are telling me that wherever you're going, Aries, there's limitless possibilities for the things in life that you want. But it's time for you to leave situations in your life that have left you at a place of a fork in the road, like being tied to situations that, not, that are not serving you. More cards. Strongest energies around the sign of Aries. This reading is for, please. Thank you. What would you like to show me, please? Current energies for the sign of Aries. Thank you. All right, me talks, repairing the body, mind, and spirit. You guys, it's a big energy right now of healing through things. I feel that this card flew up by itself to tell me to tell you that whatever you're going through in life, there's something that you have to see. And I don't mean see as in like, I feel that right now you're having the clarity of certain situations in your life that have left you in a place of stagnation and whatever you've been going through recently spirit guides are telling me you're moving towards a bigger realm you're moving towards a place of where you want to be but you need to keep your eye on something and whenever i see the eyes of the eagle they're telling me to tell you to rise, rise above the fray and the fray are things in our life that keep us in a place of a stalemate now my readings aren't for everybody but i do feel i have certain messages for certain people and whatever you're going through right now, spirit guides are telling me for you to rise above it. Repair yourself, repair your body, your mind, your spirit. You're going towards a bigger place, a place of adventure, a place of more things coming into fruition for you. I got a lot of cards. There it is again. Choices and their consequences. First card on my left is the Garden of Venus, group think, and then I have the hollow bone. You guys, this is a big card about you guys coming back into your true self. It's the card of teachability. There's something that you've recently been through to teach you something about your own healing power. I feel that spirit guides are telling me right now that you have a lot of energy around you to help you get through a new gate, a new place of the things in life of beauty, of love, of new beginnings, the Garden of Venus. You know, we all want to be in the Garden of Venus because everything is coming into fruition for us. But I feel spirit guides are telling me whatever you've been through was to strip down an old part of yourself, meaning Sometimes we have to go through certain situations in our life to come back to our true core. I feel that spirit guides are telling me right now you need to repair yourself, strip down to your true core because something new is coming in for you to build a new Aries. I have the Woodwives adaptability, building a new Aries. I feel whatever you've been through and your current energies is telling me that there's certain situations in your life that you must learn to adapt to. You know, look at all the white light around this entity. It's like spirit guides are telling me that there's something around you right now that is teaching you about your own, your own way of thought, your own way you think of things. And I feel that spirit guides are telling me that you're going to, into a new beautiful place, Aries. But first we must get you back to a place where you had to learn a lot of hard lessons about who you truly are. That's what I feel. I have a tidy house, clarity and organization. There's two houses in this tree. One is with the lights off 
and now you have a new house with all the lights coming on. You know, I just feel like your whole way of thinking, your whole vision on things is switching. Switching towards a new you, a new place of abundance, a new place of realizations of the things in life that you want. I have Feast of Plenty, choices and their consequences. It's the crossroads. And I feel spirit guides are telling me that right now there were certain situations in your life you had to go through to realize that we all must make a decision in life, but it's always about what is going to serve us for our highest good. And you must realize that certain situations that come our way that hurt us or put us in a realm of confusion, you must let it go and realize that the universe will always take care of karmic justice. It's their consequences. It's their choices. But the choice right now is for you to heal, repair an old part of yourself, and come back into a new you of the way you're thinking about things. I'm only saying that because of the hollow boat. The last card they gave me is the root girl, the disowned self. And they're pretty much all the same cards of what I've been feeling. This is a big energy right now, Aries, and it's telling me for you to guys to get rerooted into the earth. Come back into your own tree of the things in life that you want. I have two trees showing up, clarity and organization and the disowned self. I feel spirit guides are telling me the, the, what you're feeling right now is more power. Like there's something inside of you that the lights are coming back on. You had to go through something to strip down an old part of yourself, an old ego. You know, the human form is made up of 90% ego. We all must learn something about our own ego, our own spirit. And spirit guides are telling me for you to let something go right now. Repair your own body, body mind, and spirit. Because when you release certain situations in your life, it's going to move you towards the things in life that you want. Our biggest lesson in life is to learning to let go of everything with love. And it's not an easy task to do. But I feel spirit guides are telling me right now, if you do this, you will come back into a big place of power a big place of your own self-worth and what you want in life. Sometimes we go through certain situations to teach us that we must strip our own ego down to rebuild a new us. And I feel spirit guides are telling me this is what you're going through right now if this is your reading. Um, everything in life is about letting things go with love, not holding on to any resentment, any remorse, any regret, because regret is the one thing in life that teaches us something about ourselves. So regret is only a word to me because as long as we learn from our own mistakes, as long as we come back into our own power of things that we must accomplish for ourselves in life, spirit guides are telling me it's going to move you into the right direction. Spirit of the river and you have the garden of Venus telling me that whatever you've been through, it was about you rising above the fray right now, realizing that everything in life there's a cause and effect for to teach you something about your own strength to rebuild a new you, to make you realize that there's certain situations in life that we must let go of and realize that nobody gets away with anything in life. It's called karmic justice. And I feel spirit guides are telling me, let it go right now. Come back into your true core, Aries. All your lights are coming back on right now and you must rise above the fray and realize that whatever you've been through, it's taken you to a place where you wanna be, a place of beauty, love, happiness. If you've been going through something where you got a little disowned with yourself, the lights in your building are coming back on right now and a new you is being born. Spirit guides are telling me for you to let go of anything you've been through and let it go with love and know that whatever you've been through is to teach you something about yourself to become a stronger person. I know what I'm feeling right now and if this is your reading, if that sounds like something you've been going through, I'm telling you, if you repair your own body, mind, and spirit with love, it's going to lead you into the right place and a lot of new doors will open towards your garden of Venus. Love, beauty, abundance. So I always tell people the hardest thing in life is to let everything go with love. There's always a reason we go through things and sometimes it's about our own self-growth. And I feel whatever you've been through is to teach you something about your own beauty, your own love, and what you deserve in life. I'm looking at your recent past now and then I'll look what's coming in for you. You know, I always go by how I feel and this is what I feel. I feel there's a lot of beautiful color around you right now. You know, and I feel that the, the energy around you is about more creativity, more passion for the things in life that you want. A lot of people, a lot of certain energies are trying to push you forward. 
I have the Empress, a lot of nurturing energies, the Page of Cups, your Ten of Pentacles, and the Wounded Warrior, and that's an ego card. And I'm not here to bash anybody, but there was something you had to go through about something you wanted in life. You had to learn to nurture it. You had to learn to nurture yourself and tend to your own garden for things to come into abundance. The Nine of Wands is telling me that there was something that recently behind you, perhaps you felt deflated from. You know, it's just a part of life to get us stronger and to change us into a new hollow bone of our own strength. But I feel right now where you're going is a beautiful place of abundance. Recent past for Aries, Spirit Guides. What would you like to show me? Recent past for the sign of Aries for messages. What do I need to see? Thank you. Anything else? Recent past for the sign of Aries. Thank you. Did I have a flipper? No, I did not. I thought got it. I thought one flipped. Page of Pentacles, well, you were very focused on one thing and one thing only. And this can be a card about your own stability, your own self-worth, something you truly wanted. But in this deck, the Celtic Cross Tarot cards, you literally were sitting in a forest, so focused on one thing, perhaps you didn't see the things that were going on around you. I feel that were certain situations in your life that you started seeing the truth with, the Queen of Swords, a beautiful energy. But this is the queen of air, the queen of logic, the queen of intuition, the queen of what was right and what is wrong. Something was beckoning you to change. Something was, I feel like you started seeing the truth of certain situations in your life and your intuition was on point. And then here comes justice. Was everything right in your life? Did you feel that everything was, there was something in your life that you wanted justice with? You know, justice in the queen of swords, this is all Libra energy. But I feel that whatever you went through behind you was to teach you to look outside of a box. That sometimes we get so consumed with our own, something that we want, but you had to learn something about balance and you had a sword in your hand and that's the sword of truth, the sword of clarity. And I feel recently behind you, you had to heal through something because the star is all about finding harmony again with peace and understanding to get you back into the sun, to get you eager to go towards something new. You had to get over a lot of emotional disappointments and learn something about moving forward was the only option you had about your own stability. Okay? Five, oh, sorry, four of cups, haven't seen the five yet. I have the hanging man in reverse. I feel that you did crawl your way out of an emotional place of disappointment. But there was something you had to learn and it was your way of thinking about something. Because the hanging man in reverse is telling me that you started realizing that you weren't chained to anything, you weren't stuck to it. Something in your viewpoint shifted and I feel that it was about the things you were looking at, oh, here's the Five of Cups, that emotionally disappointed you. You started realizing that, well, I'm not gonna give into situations that they aren't giving back. And I feel there was a light inside of you that just came on. Realizing, well, I'm not chained to anything. You had to go into a deep place of evaluation with the Queen of Swords and Justice here and it was about a truth. I have the moon, the devil, and the two of pentacles. I feel there were certain situations behind you that you were going back and forth with to make you realize that you really weren't chained to anything, Aries. You know, the devil is the shadow side. We all must go through a shadow side within ourselves and other people so we can see the positive. And I feel whatever you've been through, you had to go back and forth about looking through a situation in your life and trusting your intuition about moving forward. You knew you had to. You saw something for what it was to get you back into the sun because you're such a strong sign. I have the Page of Cups. I have the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Forgiveness. And then the Seven of Wands is in reverse. I feel that you laid down a fight. Whatever you've been through recently was to teach you something about letting things go with love. You had to learn it and it's all around you right now. I feel the spirit guides are telling me for you to release everything with love, be open to everything with love, and watch what unfolds. The Garden of Venus is a new gate opening up around you for beauty, for new love, for everything you want in life. But there's something you had to learn about your own pride. And sometimes we have to come into an energy of realizing that it's not worth holding on to something so much and letting it go with love. You saw the clarity of something about the things in your life that were out of whack. And I feel that right now spirit is saying, rise above the fray, Aries. Keep your eye on what it is that you want. 
keep moving forward because there's something waiting for you. It's the spirit of the river, the spirit of movement. Repair yourself. Come back into a whole you, a brand new you, because all your lights in your building are coming on right now. And I feel spirit guides are telling you where you're moving to and where you're going is a place of beauty, love, new beginnings. You know, I just feel that right now, whatever you've been through was to teach you something about toxic connections, toxic situations. You had to find some type of clarity through a fog. And I feel recently behind you, you finally saw it. You finally seen it. You finally let go of it because the seven of wands is reversed. And that's a card about claiming your personal power. I feel that you laid down a fight because you saw the truth. And now spirit is saying, now repair yourself. Start to realize that everything that you had the clarity on, there's a new you that's about to be reborn and the Garden of Venus is about to open and you're going to walk through. You're going to attract abundance and beauty, you guys. So, All right, I'm going to look at what's coming in for you. I know I can ramble on and I do apologize, but I, I feel the messages and I feel this is about you guys coming back into your disowned self. The lights in the building are coming back on. Get rerouted into the earth and know that what's coming in for you is a new you the hollow bone. You're stripped down to a new you so you can rise above and start to be born a new Aries of light, of new optimism, of new beginnings for the things in life that you want because your Garden of Venus gate is open right now. It was a new moon just the other day, so new beginnings. Let's look at what's coming in for you now. Uh, I'm going to use this deck over here. I never knew how I'm going to use. I have your crown chakra under the deck, a few cards. I have the sun. And then I have a man holding a coin. This is about you coming into a place of abundance and new solid beginnings. I feel that the spirit guides are telling me there's everything coming in for you of blossoming abundance. I told you your garden of Venus is open around you right now. I don't know who's under these decks. And I have a lot of happiness. This is happy family, but spirit guides are telling me that there's a lot of happiness coming in for you. But you must be open to everything. And the crown chakra is where we receive all our information the crown chakra is where we ask the universe for help, where we ask our spirit guides for help. And they're telling me your crown chakra is open and watch what you receive. I feel that in the next few weeks, you're going to be more optimistic. You're going to be feeling good. I'll put them all back in. We're going to shuffle. Strongest energies for the sign of Aries for the next week to two weeks. You guys, the Garden of Venus is all around you right now. Rise above whatever you've been through. Let it go. Know that there's choices and their consequences and the universe will deal with it in divine timing. Strongest incoming energies for my Aries. Thank you, spirit guides. Oh, there you go. Strongest incoming energies for the sign of Aries. Next few weeks, please. What do I need to see for Aries? Thank you. All right, underneath the deck is a woman holding a heart, all tied up, and the angel of love. You guys, it's a big message. Spirit guides are telling me that everything is in your place of your heart. Stop allowing things to block something with your own heart. A woman holding a heart is telling me for you to hold on to the things you truly want with your heart, with love, letting it go with love, being open to love. And I have the angel of love all around you. Wow, this is a big test of love, you guys. And I'm not talking about just relationships. I'm talking about love of yourself. Anxiety. You know, I'm going to tell you something about anxiety. This is a place of worrying about what could be, what could happen, what if. It's a card of circumventing. My spirit guides are telling me to hold on to something you truly want, Aries, a man holding a coin. You have the feathered pen, a new journal. I feel spirit guides are telling me you're coming into a lot of power, that you have the power to create whatever it is you want in your hands. Let go of worry. Let go of fear. It's going to block something. That's what I feel they're trying to tell me. I have a new door, the door to your spirit. I have a victory. Spirit guides are telling me, tell you in the next few weeks, you're walking through a new door. Your spirit, something inside of you is going to come alive. It's a, it's a new realm of a bigger belief. It's like you're coming into this power of anything is possible. And spirit guides are telling me victory is all around you. Let go of worry. Release it to your angels. I have the magician in the mirror. Love that card. And I have your temple path. All right, you guys. The magician in the mirror is all about your own self-creation. I feel the spirit guides are telling me, look what's before you. Don't look at something as an illusion. 
Look about what it is you truly want in life and believe you can attract it. The magician in the mirror. You are the magician, Aries. This is about creation. That sometimes we want to create certain situations in our life to come into fruition, but look at what's really before you and what you truly want. I feel spirit guides are telling me, be true to thyself, your temple path, and watch what unfolds. It's the golden energy of victory. I have karmic justice contract, and I have the angel of strength. Spirit guides are telling me in the next few weeks, the power that you're about to come into is a lot of courage for new beginnings. And I feel the spirit guides are telling me that you're about to sign a lot of new contracts and things are going to become more balanced in your life. Things are going to level out for you. This is also a card about everything playing out for you in your favor. But I feel spirit guides are telling me to hold on to your own courage about the things you want in your life. Use your own feathered pin of thought. Keep moving forward and let go of anything that you've been holding on to because it's going to block something of your own manifestations. I have financial constraints. Now, this is a card to me of just constraints because there's an old door open with a lot of cobwebs, old things. I feel the spirit guides are telling me, look at the things you really want, Aries. Is it really what you want? It's time for a new door to open, a new door to open to what it is you want in life. I feel spirit guides are telling me to tell you to stop looking at the things in front of you and look beyond the illusion. The last card they gave me, I don't even know. Oh my God. You guys got the goddess of the moon, new beginnings. All right, you guys, this is telling me for you to trust in the unknown. That there's a big energy that you have everything in your hands of creation. The goddess of the moon is all about new beginnings. You must tap into your own intuition. Look beyond what is in front of you that may seem like an illusion because behind this moon is new beginnings. I feel spirit guides are telling me a new door wants to open. You have a lot of strength coming in and everything in your life is about to be balanced out. The angel of strength is telling me what's coming in for you is a lot of courage that realize that everything in life is about balance and what has ever been done wrong to you will be done right. There's something that's leading you into the right direction, but you must look beyond an illusion. They want you to manifest beyond what you see. Spirit guides are saying you have all the power in your hands, and then you have the man holding a coin with the card of strategy. That everything you want is also about love. You must tap into your own heart. I tell people every day when, you know, I, I work with a lot of people and sometimes they have a really hard time of getting past their own pride, their own ego of somebody who hurt them. I said, be the bigger person. Let it go. Move on. And then watch what opens before you. And when they do that, they come back to me and say, oh my God, you were so right. I'm not here to say I'm better than anybody, but I've had to do a lot of inner work. And my whole teachings my whole life were by a master metaphysical teacher. So the work that I've done on myself, I realize that everything is about love, you know, and not holding on to any pain. Because once you come back into your own heart of love, watch the doors that open. Garden of Venus is all around you. So there's telling me for you to manifest the things beyond the illusion. Let something go with love and watch what unfolds. And that's what I'm going to say. You have everything in your hands right now in the next few weeks to create something of new, new abundance. You got a strategy and a man holding a coin. But they are telling me for you to get past something about circumventing. And I feel spirit guide saying, circumventing is something we all do. Worried. How am I going to pay that? Or how am I going to do this? You got you to gotta believe that you're going to be all right. You'll cross that bridge if you get to it because you may never get to it. It was a hard lesson I had to learn because everything I always worried about when I was younger I never got to that bridge. It was just constant worrying of nothing. They want you to come back into your own power. All right, beautiful. I'm gonna get some messages now. Oh, this card's over here. Seven of Cups. This was your recent past. Really looking at the things you've chosen with love, uh, disillusioned about certain choices you've made, and Spirit Guides is saying it's time for you to let it go. Stop holding on to anything of attachments. Be open to everything with love, and watch what opens up and unfolds. All right, you guys. I'm going to get some messages now, then I'll get some angel messages, then love crossing at the end. All right, messages from Spirit Guides about this reading today. I'm going to do the Everyday Witch. The Knight of Air is the knight going after something with a fast-forward way of thinking. You know, the Knight of Air is all thought. Stop getting caught in a place of emotional disappointment. Stop putting yourself down a rabbit hole. I call it the junkyard of emotion. Think about it. 
the things that have hurt us, it's, it's basically a junkyard down there because it's something that was once we once wanted or something that was an old relationship or an old situation that put us down there. It's a junkyard. You don't belong down there anymore. Move forward with a new way of thinking and watch how things unfold. The Eight of Wands. This is eight good omens. Everything will be set into motion. All right. I love it. I'm going to let the cards do the talking, though. You know that. Spirit guides, messages from my beautiful Aries today about this reading. I will let the cards talk to you. Spirit guides, what do you want to tell Aries today about this reading? If you can tell Aries any messages today, what messages do you have for the sign of Aries about this reading? Thank you. What messages do you have for Aries, please? Thank you. Anything else for the sign of Aries? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, wow. These are messages, you guys. There's the Seven of Cups again. Hmm. Okay. Options and choices and things we've chosen from the past. Seven of Cups. A lot of cups of love in front of you. What is it that you truly want? I feel spirit guides are telling me for you to choose wisely about something and hold on to something you truly deserve, the Queen of Earth. You know, the Queen of Earth is all about holding on to something that we've worked hard for, that we know we deserve. The Queen of Earth is a very intuitive Earth energy, but it's also a very nurturing energy. There's something coming in for you, and it's about you making a plan, having um, some type of ambition to go after something new, because there's two maps in these cards. You got the Page of Pentacles. This is about something new, you guys. And you got the King of Fire. The King of Fire is telling me for you to go after something that you truly want, Aries. Choose wisely from something you've learned from before and hold on to something about yourself that you truly deserve because everything in this life is about being true to thyself. And watch what plays out in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune is telling me something is actually aligning for you in divine timing, but you must choose something wisely and have a plan. Here's big old judgment, and underneath judgment, Aries, is you, the emperor. But you see, judgment is about a compassionate review of your past, letting everything go with love so something new can be rebirthed. It's going to bring you back into your power. It's a message. I'm just going to tell you what the cards say. I have the hermit. I have a page of cups and I have the five of pentacles. This is a big major arcana about something that we've learned from before, an inner wisdom, an inner light. Spirit guides are telling me it's time for you to go after something new with love and stop having any type of self-fulfilling prophecies that you're going to get hurt again or feeling like there's nobody out there to help you. Spirit guides are telling me, what did you learn from before? Were you really ever shut out, Aries? There was always people around you to give you love. The night of earth telling me that if you go after everything you want one sure steady foot at a time this is the night that has a strategic plan very slow and steady energy spirit guides are telling me if you go after something you truly want one step at a time don't jump in you will have a victory because this is a very brave night it doesn't give up i have the high priestess last card they gave me is the knight of air Spirit guides are telling me, trust your intuition and shift your viewpoint on how you look at things. The night of error is all about our viewpoint, the way we think. This is about fast forward thinking. We're rolling into Aquarius season soon. So whether you want to or not, spirit guides are saying, you have an inner knowing. You need to trust your inner knowing and go after something with a new viewpoint, a new way of thinking about it. Whatever you shift your viewpoint on and go after one sure steady foot at a time, spirit guides are telling me everything is going to play out in your favor. But you must have a plan and be determined to go after it and use all the charm and charisma you have. The king of fire never bows down to a challenge, but it's a very honorable king of doing it the right way. A very gracious king. Spirit guides are saying it's time for you to release things Aries and do it with love because something new in your life is about to be reborn, about to be rebirthed. It's going to bring you back into your power. These cards were all lined up for you. It was absolutely beautiful. Big messages for certain Aries today. And I'm going to get some angel cards now. Aries, your reading was beautiful today. I hope you got some messages out of there. 
because your incoming energies is telling you that everything is moving in the right direction. And if you come into an energy in the next few weeks of worrying about something, Spirit Guide, you need to let it go and hold on to something you truly deserve. It's leading you in the right direction. A few angel cards for Aries today. What would you like to tell the sign of Aries about this reading, Spirit Guides, from the angel cards? Two to three cards for the sign of Aries. A few angel cards, please. Thank you for the sign of Aries. Anything else? Thank you. I will read the one under the deck. All right, they're right here. I know you guys can see them. It is change your life. And this is what Spirit Guides want to say to you. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination and embrace the opportunities that change is about to bring. And everything happens for a reason. Search for the silver lining. It's to push you forward to something bigger and better. I have the five of Michael. Angel Michael has something to say to you. That's the angel of air. This situation doesn't serve you or whatever you've been through. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. I feel like spirit guides are saying, go after something with a new viewpoint. All right, you guys, you have the 10 of Ariel. We all want the 10 of Ariel. So spirit guides are trying to say to you, there is so very much to be grateful for. Financial success and the promise of retirement. A rich and rewarding family life. I just feel like spirit guides are saying everything is going to lead to a place of abundance. Whatever you've been through, there is so much to be grateful for. They gave you another 10. So you got the 10 of Ariel and the 10 of Gabriel. And I just feel that there's a big message here for Aries that need this message. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours or trying too hard to please others. I feel spirit guides are saying, release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach and watch what unfolds. Because a lot of sudden revelations that are going to offer you freedom for success. All right, you guys, beautiful reading for you today. I hope it helped you. There's always a silver lining. Sometimes we go through things in life and we look back a year later and say, oh, I'm glad that didn't happen because something bigger and better is heading your way. I saw the Garden of Venus and you guys, I see your temple path and victory. All right, you guys, beautiful reading. Many blessings to you. I'm rolling into love crossing now. If you guys are in a harmonious relationship or just not dealing with anyone at the moment, they're not going to be for you. So thank you for all your love and support, my beautiful Aries Nation. I truly love you. I am truly grateful. Have a beautiful Sunday and amazing next few weeks. It's going to be fast. It's going to be beautiful. All right, you guys, I'll see you next time. For those of you dealing with someone in particular, I'm going to get one deck. And I always ask for the strongest love crossing energies. And they may or may not be all your persons. I'm going right here. I don't know why. I was going to go over there, but I feel like I'm here. Someone who's trying. So this is a big card of someone who's claiming their personal power. I'll take a few cards. Seeing the truth and clarity about something and they have justice. They're looking at something about receiving and trying to let something go with love. But they're having a hard time go letting. I feel whatever you've been dealing with is having a hard time letting something go because they still feel so much love for you. You're at a crossroads though about seeing the truth and clarity of certain situations with you. They're having a hard time letting go right now. Spirit guides love crossing strongest. My Aries have been dealing with. What would you like to show me? Strongest love crossing for the sign of Aries. Thank you. What do I need to see please? For the strongest love, crossing energies for the sign of Aries. Thank you. Anything else? Nope. Ah. See, uh, you guys, the two of pentacles, I saw that under the deck. And the two of pentacles is telling me it's a person who's been going back and forth about this relationship. And I'm only saying they're not juggling you, but they're juggling something about what they want. I have the Magician, the Queen of Cups. I feel this person is hoping to receive from you so gateways can open. Is that claiming their personal power? Yeah. 
I feel whoever you've been dealing with has really been in a big energy about releasing something with love with you. They really are trying to create something of love with you. But the first card on my left is the Queen of Air. Uh, it's a big card to me because the Queen of Air is Libra, but this is a card about in this big energy of knowing whether they should trust their intuition. Now, the Queen of Swords to me is someone who's in an evaluation mode. Are they telling the truth? Is this really as it appears? Or they're, they're listening to their intuition about something. I think I, I was going to say something. This is a card of someone who feels they gave a lot into a situation because they felt you were a part of their destiny. This person hurts. I haven't even seen the Three of Swords. So this, is a, this is a lot of hurt here. King of Fire. I have someone who's having a lot of epiphanies. Uh, tower moments about something here with you. I don't know why I'm saying this, but this person felt that you were their ultimate everything. And they felt that you two were destined to be together and you guys probably were. This is a karmic tie. I feel this person is starting to have a lot of epiphanies and it has something to do about this union because the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups, you know, this is very beautiful energy, the Queen of Water, but it's somebody who feels so much love and they're trying to release everything with love, but right now they're still in this evaluation mode of like, hmm. I feel they've been having a hard time releasing something. It's like an energy, a feeling like they've given and given and given, but at the same time, this is someone who's been going back and forth. They can't, whoever this is, can't make up their mind about something. The Four Swords, a lot of rest, rejuvenation, and then there's justice. You guys, I see this last card, and all I'm going to say is whoever this is, is someone who's been taking a major time out and trying to find their answers about something here with you about how balanced everything's been and, and they are really in a big evaluation mode and they're in a big place of love i i'm going to tell you whoever this is truly loves you but they're having a lot of epiphanies and the tower can be a rude awakening and I feel that they have been thrown out there and thrown out there and thrown out there what they want with you. But right now with the tower and the king of fire, they're just having a lot of epiphanies about something here. But this person has been doing a lot of healing. And the four swords is a card of healing to me as well. Laying down the heart, laying down the mind, trying to find their answers with something. Because they felt that you were their destiny. You guys, actually this to me is telling me this was a karmic connection. Justice, karmic connection. Last card out is the Eight of Wands, and this is about someone who wants to move something forward with you, who wants communication from you, who wants to communicate with you. But they're really looking, this is their current energies, they're really looking at something that they've given into with you. They're having a hard time right now about releasing something, and they're trying to find their answers through quiet meditation. This person loves you, I saw the lovers. They felt that you were a part of their destiny, and I'm gonna say you were. So I don't know what happened. Everybody goes through shit in life, you know, it moves us forward. But let's look at their intentions towards you because I feel this person wants to come to a happy medium of finding some type of balance. Eight of Wands, wow, I finished with the Eight of Wands and here comes the Eight of Wands. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and I have someone who's trying to release something here with love, a compassionate review. I feel like it's somebody who wanted a solid beginning with you, but they're starting to question whether there was deceptive behavior or not. Um, and then I have the Empress. I do feel that this person wants to nurture something, but in the next few weeks, I feel all they want is some type of communication. They want to communicate to you. They want something here to find their answers, their clarity, so they can release something here because I saw judgment. Let's see. Intentions towards Aries, if any. Love. Next few weeks. Thank you. What would you like to show me? Love, cross, and intentions, if any. Next few weeks. Strongest, thank you. Towards the sign of Aries, love. All right. Anything else you want to show me? Thank you. Anything else? Ace of same cards. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Somebody feels completely shut out. And they're doing a lot of healing. I think whoever you've been doing, dealing with has been in a big energy of trying to release something here. They feel completely isolated, but they're putting a lot of focus into themselves. I feel what they truly want is to communicate to you about a solid beginning. They're hoping to hear from you, Aries, or they want to talk to you about it. It's somebody who wants to get to the triangle of stability with you. 
that's a better relationship i don't do third party a lot of healing going on here so this person can feel whole I still feel that they're hoping to have some type of communication with you. They want to move something forward with you. If this is somebody who did you dirty, there are higher vibrations and lower vibrations. Spirit guides are saying heal right now and the Garden of Venus shall open. All right, here we go. First card on my left is the card of commitment, faith, tradition. But then I have the hermit, the hierophant and the hermit. This person has been very withdrawn and they've been really analyzing something about commitment. These are their intentions. The hermit can be gone a while. It's Virgo energy. And then this is Taurus, but it's telling me about the energies, very earthy energy, whether they're earth or not. They're still looking at something about the tradition energy of commitment. I feel I've even dealing with has really been hoping for something bigger and better with you. I have the wheel of fortune, luck and right timing. I have the fool. And then I have someone who's trying to decide, for, is it time for me to move forward? Like I feel I've even dealing with has been waiting for you. That's what I feel. Now, like I said, if this is somebody who did you dirty and you've been waiting for them, spirit guides are saying, well, you just move forward and you let go of the energies and you watch what opens up for you, Aries. But if this is somebody that you've been dealing with, this person is going to take a leap of faith. They're hoping to start over with you. They're, they're waiting for luck and right timing. I feel this person in the next few weeks is just doing a lot of healing about feeling whole again. With the Hermit here and the Hierophant, they're very committed about something and it's about finding their answers. And I feel they do want to move something forward. They're hoping for communication. They want to communicate. Either way, it's one or the other. Last card out is there she is, the Queen of Swords sideways. You know, the Queen of Swords sideways is telling me this person hasn't come to some type of clarity yet because they're waiting for something from you. Now, I am not here to judge. I'm not here to tell people what to do. But this person is waiting for some type of clarity from you. So if, like I said, if this is somebody who did you dirty, well, you know what to do. But if this is somebody that you want to mend something with, they're waiting for you, Aries. All right? I'm going to leave it here. That's all I'm going to say. Because energy shift like the wind, and, and that's just, this is what I feel right now. I want to wish you all a beautiful Sunday, an amazing next few weeks. Many blessings to everyone. Thank you for viewing me today and thank you for your support and love. Truly grateful. And you guys, I will see you next time. Thank you.